Hi, I'm Roger and welcome back to the Tractor Tech channel. I have something here today I'm going to show you that's going to make backing up your trailer easier and safer. It's called the Halo View RD7 Wireless Backup Camera System. If you have a newer truck, the truck probably already has a backup camera in it, but that's not all that helpful once you hook to a trailer. So as I already mentioned, this is a wireless backup camera. It's a seven inch monitor. It can, the monitor can either be hardwired or it comes with the necessary adapters. So you can just plug it into a cigarette lighter. And we have a suction cup mount so you can put it on the windshield. Or it comes with a stick on base so you can attach it to your dash. And then a sunshade. If you don't wanna use your 12 volt power port or cigarette lighter, we also have the wiring so that it can be hardwired. So here's the camera, and this is the wireless transmitter for it, but this is where things really get unique with this system. Most cameras are going to require you to have a 12 volt wire going to the camera. So that means you're going to have to wire the camera to the trailer. With this Halo View camera, I was able to get a battery pack, and the battery pack is also magnetic. Then, I was also able to get a magnetic base for the camera. And as you can see, when I went to pick it up there, the base is very, very strong. So with the way I have this set up, I have four trailers. I can put this system on any of my four trailers very easily. And then since I have my monitor set up so that it hooks into the 12 volt power port, I can use this in any different tow vehicle. So just in a couple minutes time, I have my backup camera set up for any tow vehicle or any trailer. To hook all this up, it's just real simple. And it has uh, these nice rubber boots that go over and make things weatherproof. But you can see it's real easy to make the connections. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this truck doesn't have a backup camera in it yet. So, since I have this set up to where it's a standalone system, does not require any wiring, I can attach it to my truck and use it as a backup camera when I'm backing up to the trailer to make it easier to hook up to the trailer. So now that I have the camera and battery pack attached to the tailgate, I'll go ahead and power it up. The battery pack comes with a USB cable for charging. Battery pack lasts for about three hours. All right, so now we're inside the truck. You can see I have it plugged into my 12 volt power port. And then instead of sticking it to the windshield, my truck has a clip on the console. I have it clamped in there. You might wanna check your laws because this sticking in your windshield is possibly illegal because it obstructs your vision. But I've also used it in another truck stuck down in the cup holder. It sits in there really nice too. So I was a little bit concerned about having a seven inch monitor because the bigger the monitor you go, usually uh, the worse your picture is because most backup cameras, the resolution of them is very low. But you can see with this seven inch monitor, it has a crystal clear picture. It's better than any backup camera in any vehicle I've ever seen. So the monitor is a four channel monitor and the monitor and camera both also have sound. So if somebody's outside directing you, you can hear them. And I'll run through some of the options here real quick in the menu. You can see we have volume, and then picture. We can just adjust the brightness, contrast, color. Then we can change to like a mirror image so right now I have a mirror image. That's the correct image. Then this is if you have more than one camera. So if you have like a really big enclosed trailer or a travel trailer and you wanted to mount cameras on the side of it and your blind spots, this would be really nice. Playback and then pairing. Playback is if you're using it as a dash camera. All right, so now that I've gone over some of the basic settings of the camera, I'm gonna back up to my trailer 
and hook up to the trailer and then I'll mount the camera on the trailer. All right, thick glare that's in the left side is coming up on the camera. It's not actually um, in the monitor. Now time to transfer the camera from the truck to the trailer. Here's the view with the camera mounted on the trailer. So you have a nice view. So it's kind of hard to tell how wide the trailer is in the camera. So I'm gonna turn my grid lines on or park lines as they call it. Park lines on. Then they are adjustable left and right. What I'm going to do to be sure my park lines are adjusted properly is I'm going to lay the wheel chocks down at the tires and then pull forward until I can see them in the camera and then adjust my park lines from there. Look like they're adjusted about right where they are now. They probably need to move to the right just a hair. Now I have them set as low. Because my camera's mounted lower, it's not mounted up high like it would be on a travel trailer or an enclosed trailer. I'm going to pull the truck down the driveway and then back up here and show you how it does. You can see that my truck is a four-door long bed truck and the trailer is 20 feet long on the deck and then it's probably with the tongue and the ball mount probably another five or six feet behind the truck so the camera is like 26 feet behind the truck plus the length of the truck and we'll see how the picture works on it. always a little bit difficult when you're trying to drive look through the camera and I'm in this case I'm looking into the camera and into the monitor so I'm doing like three things at once here but you can see that the camera is transmitting to the monitor just fine the picture looks great I'm not in 
GoPro it backing up. See how close I can come to backing up even with the edge of the garage. pretty close. I might be just a hair too far back. That actually did pretty good. really like this Halo View backup camera because of all the options it has and it has the ability to run four channels at once. The picture on it is very clear. But the thing that I really feel that sets this system apart is the way I have it set up is it's a modular backup camera system. I'm not limited to using it on one truck or one trailer. I can use it on any truck I want to or any trailer I want to. Since the monitor plugs into the 12 volt power port and since I have the battery pack and magnetic mount for the camera, it makes it easy to switch between trailers. And as you saw, I mounted it on my truck to back up to the trailer to make things a bit easier. And this camera is not just limited to trucks and trailers. If you wanted to, you could even put one on your tractor or anything else that you may need a camera. This camera is not a replacement for using your mirrors, but it does help greatly because it reduces the blind spot behind your trailer when you're backing up. And also, it could be handy for when you're driving down the road to tell if you're in front of the car that you just passed so you can get back over. Halo View customer support was great when I ordered this camera. They worked with me to be sure that I had the right camera for my needs. I'm going to include the links for this camera and the accessories in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. I've played with this Halo View backup camera a little bit more since I made the video. And I just wanted to add this to the video and say that I originally had the camera on so it was not in a mirrored view. But like when you go to back up a trailer, if you look in the mirrors of your truck, then look down at the camera and it's not in the mirrored view, it gets really confusing. And since you're used to looking in the mirrors and how to turn your wheel and how to turn your steering wheel, it gets confusing looking into the camera if it's not on the mirrored view, at least to me. So I prefer for it to be on the mirrored view, at least while I'm backing up. But I think even driving down the road, I'm going to prefer it that way also. I need to try it some more.